Hi everyone, we're XBM Network and we're having a look at 7th Sector on the Xbox One. Just came out today, 5th of February, it is £16.74 in the store. We're going to leave a link in the description. It's developed by Nozkov Surgery, published by Sometimes You. It is rated 18 and above, single player only. So 7th Sector is a mysterious cyberpunk type game set in the obviously cyberpunk world. Immerse yourself in on this intricate path solving different puzzles, facing its dangers and collecting scattered information to discover the story of the world. Gain control over several different characters, each with their own abilities, and they can help you navigate the world's devices and machinery. Some of your choices and actions will determine the ending of the game, so be wary of what you're doing. This has been nominated for awards as well and received awards. So it got the best indie game at the DevGam 2019 and it got the excellence in visual art at the DevGam 2019 as well. It's fantastic to see. So what we'll do is we'll take it in, have a quick look at it. Some of it's a little bit straightforward, other parts of it isn't. Not sure if you can read the text that's coming up there because it's quite small. It's basically just booting itself up. A little bit of energy there forming. So we can start the game. We go into settings, data, and profile. Settings, just your language, your volume, saturation. Let's go right into it. Don't adjust your TV sets, this is what it does. There's something there in the snow. So to move around use the left thumbstick and action with the air button. So as you see we are controlling the thing, the creature, the person inside the TV set. Just holding the air button there just to come out. So we're now inside the electric cable. Can go back in. Just holding the air button. We can go to the right hand side as well. All you do basically is just move along the cables. Can't do anything there we found like a dead end. So even though the holding the air button doesn't do anything, there's nothing to connect to. You can speed up by pressing the X button and holding it down. Go back into the TV, we'll just come across again. So what we're going to do with the opening part of this video is just show you how we jump between objects. So all you do is just hold in the direction you want to go. Press the air button. You can actually just hold the air button on its own if you wish. As you can see, you just jump across. 
As long as there's a cable or a connection next to you, you should be able to make the jump. So we're just going along this cable here. We can drop down to the bottom. You just hold down in here. We're going to the next section. So there is different paths to take. As they speed up with the air button. I'm just going to go back up this top, see if we've missed anything. So there's nothing there. Holding the air button. So like I say, there is different paths. Just pay, just it does pay to explore everywhere. So we're just coming down here. We can go to the cable just above, but we'll have a little look down here. So we need to make that jump. So in order to do that, we're going to have to go all the way back up here. Jump across to the top cable. Jump across again. Just pop the light bulb there. As you notice, in the background there is somebody smoking. Don't want to give ourselves away. Taking out the fluorescent bulb. So that's just made that dangle down, so we want to go all the way back across. Just bridge your gap. Remember, you can speed up with the X button. So because the fluorescent lights now jump down, we're able to make the gap. It's just give us just enough of what we need. So we've just activated the machine there. Cables with the orange current going through it as well, you need to avoid the current. So quickly going to jump onto that. Follow it around. We got caught. Just need to be a bit careful there. Cross again. I'm going to try and get up this cable before we get caught. Nope. Some things are a little bit tricky in places. As with anything, it's just practice. So we just activated that. So Stromberg is outraged, blocks the servers. We have to come all the way back down. That time it didn't really matter if the current got us. Jump up there. Come through that one. Activated that button that just pushed a hydraulic pin across, I think it was. There's a TV up there, but we can't really jump to it. So we can either jump across to the left or jump down across. Bit of a puzzle this one. So we're going to make 220. Oh, that's not right. So 
So if you're good with maths, you'll be able to do it. I'll add a 7 to that, so I need 30. There isn't one. Need to take 90 off now, is it that lit up? Got a 60 there. I'm 10 away again. If I had 106, take 106 I should say. At 60, 18, I need... Oh, my 18 is there. You take thirty away. I need to add twenty. Getting there slowly. If I add eighteen, take a hundred and six. Hundred and fifty eight there. Brains deserted me. But you will find puzzles like that what you've got to interact with. There's nothing to power up on that one. Again, there's other cables we can jump across to. This one we're going to try and get up the staircase. Try and get the direction right. The moment it's not let me. Try again. That's it. This is another puzzle. You can select it with your D-pad, where you're going. That's it. <laughs> Charlotte and error, that one. So we've now created a magnet ball. Switch the switch back off. Should be able to jump across. You see, we are conducting anything magnetic. Have a switch to put on there. Turn that one off. I 
Gonna figure out this puzzle now. Drop the ball. Then we're going to pick one up. I'm not quite sure at the minute how this one works. So the idea here is to get one magnet to activate the ball. And then we'll jump across on the other one. That's it. We can hit that cable. Go play it, switch your radio on, or gramophone. on track 4 because a little note there that says 4 track. So someone's after us. Someone in the buff there. Code we have to activate. No idea what it is. I'll come out of that a second. Can't see any numbers lying around. Which maybe spoke to us on the gramophone. I'd have to play it again. I'll have a quick look up here, however. <laughs> yep, so the progress part, this part we need the code. Which must be given on the gramophone. I'm going to leave it there, however, that is a quick look at 7th Sector, like I say, it's just come out today on Xbox One. And if you like the look of it and you like picking stuff up like this, give it a shot. It's out, £16.74, like I said, we're going to leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching, really appreciate it, and please come and chat to us on Twitter at xbm underscore network. Let us know if you've picked this up. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.